lovely friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my formula for writing portfolio submission emails to potential illustration clients. I know it can feel really intimidating to approach people that you don't know, especially when you are just starting out in your creative career or when you've just graduated college. This formula has given me an 80% response rate, meaning that if I send out 10 emails in one day, I usually get eight responses back, either A, complimenting me on my emailing skills, B, critiquing my portfolio, talking to me about a project or redirecting me to somebody that I might fit better. In any industry, it's all about making connections and how you present yourself. So I hope this video brings you lots of value. Let's get started. When sending a portfolio submission, it's important to be direct, clear, but not robotic. You're sending these emails to people with really stressful jobs where they review hundreds of emails a week from people who really just only want something out of them. For that purpose, you're not just trying to write a professional email, you're also trying to write something heartwarming and respectful. I like to start my emails by titling the subject, Good morning plus illustration portfolio review. The good morning portion can obviously be changed depending on what time of day you are sending this email and the illustration portfolio submission can be changed to illustration inquiry if you're not exactly sure whether the company you're sending this to is accepting submissions. From there, I start the email by greeting the client and it's important to do as much research as you can on the company so that you know exactly who you're sending this to. That way you don't write something generic like dear sir or madam or dear art department. Department. It happens. Good morning, Walter. I hope your morning has been filled with minimal stress and a decent hot beverage. Why did I write that second line? Because it shows that I'm not just thinking of myself when writing this email, I'm also trying to think of the well being of the person I'm writing this to. The people in charge of hiring talent often get emails that sound very entitled, ungrateful, and just disrespectful. And we're just trying to show with one simple sentence that this is not gonna be that type of email. Next, I state how I came across their company, the intention of my email, and what extra spark I could bring to their projects. I am a lover of Studio O's projects at Roman's Bookstore, and I would like to submit my illustration portfolio for consideration of any upcoming projects that might need an extra spark of imagination. Now that we've got our intention out of the way, it's time to incentivize a connection, because you're not just trying to submit a portfolio, you're trying to build a relationship. I like to do this by formally introducing myself and in my introduction I like to give three facts about myself that state who I am as a creative but also show my value as a potential contributor. What does that mean? It means that I'm not going to give them frivolous facts like my favorite color and the name of my cat. It means that I'm going to give them facts that show them why they should hire me. This is an opportunity for you to show exactly why you are the type of person they should be working with. As such, this section varies extremely and widely depending on the type of company you are approaching. If you're trying to approach a nonprofit, maybe you want to show them how trustworthy and committed to your principles you are versus trying to apply for an edgy magazine where then you might want to state facts that show your willingness to take risks and your fearless approach to life. Think of the mission behind the company you're selecting and tailor this section to each specific company. Here is fact number one, fact number two, and fact number three. At the end of this section, I like to give one fact that ties up any loose ends of this section and states why in the end I'd be a valuable choice. I am a driven, hardworking, imaginative ball of creative energy, and I would absolutely love a chance to create the impossible with you. The last part of this email is your formal conclusion. If you'd like to learn more about me, I have attached my portfolio website in this email, which also links to my resume in the about section. If you don't have a resume on your website, you can change this section to I have submitted a link to my portfolio as well as attached a copy of my resume to this email. Thank you for taking the time to read my letter and have a marvelous day. Sincerely, Gabriella Guzman. Don't forget to link your website at the very end of this email. Otherwise, all of this is for nothing and you just look dumb. <laughs> Every time I use this email formula, a combination of professionalism, respect, and a dash of human connection, I get extremely positive responses. It's important to remember that at the end of the day, your email skills will only take you so far. If your work is just not right for them, or if you're not ready, that's just that. But what something like this can do is open the door to a great first impression and the possibility of building a professional relationship. Oftentimes, if people like you, they will go out of their way to help you. And helping you doesn't always mean giving you the job. Sometimes it means redirecting you to somebody that might be a better fit for you, 
giving you a critique on your portfolio, or just giving you a response at all. <laughs> so work on your art, work on yourself, and work on your ability to connect with people's hearts, professional or not. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video and that it brought you some value today. In the comments below, please tell me one question that you have about either being an artist or just having a creative career in general. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.